everyone, it's Nina. Thanks for joining me today for a new tutorial featuring some fun Simon Says Stamp products. Today I'm going to be using the Radiant Stencil and also the Stained Glass Greetings stamp set, which are part of the recently released Friends collection. So I'm taking the Radiant Stencil and I'm attaching it down onto a piece of ivory cardstock from Simon Says Stamp. Now don't mind my grid background there. My sister was playing around in my craft room and ended up putting quite a bit of coloring on that. So she was helping me, I guess, create some cards. Now the Radiant Stencil really reminds me of stained glass and I wanted to create that kind of effect using some ink blending. So I started off with some Simon Says Stamp ink and I used Duckling, Hot Mama, Doll Pink, and a little bit of Sun Kissed to blend between the Duckling and Doll Pink. I really loved the color combination of this ink blended background and I have a beautiful ivory design of that Radiant Stencil as the negative area and it looks so beautiful against those colors. Now there's another new stamp set from Simon Says Stamp as part of the Friends release which is the Stained Glass Love stamp set. And this stamp set has a lot of really great love and friendship themed greetings and I'm going to go ahead and use the coordinating die to cut this out eventually. Now I stamped the love in that beautiful Hot Mama ink, it's a really beautiful purple. And I stamped that down onto the ivory cardstock. After that I die cut it with the coordinating die. Then I took some Copic markers in some of the dull pinkish kind of tones and filled in some of the areas in between the stained glass effects of that stamp. I want to be able to help go ahead and line this up into the center area of that radiant stencil. I'm going to make sure that the O in the love ends up lining up perfectly with the circle center of the radiant stencil. To make my sentiment a little bit more dimensional, I did take a few extra white die cut pieces, cut with that coordinating die, and I layered them together. I die cut a total of three of them and attached those down to the back side of my finished love greeting with that beautiful purple tone. I brought in some orange cardstock, and by the way, both of these panels are cut down with the Simon Says Stamp stitched rectangle dies. The orange piece I ended up layering onto the card in a very cattywampus kind of style, so it has some of that orange peeking out on certain edges of the panel. And then I added the radiant stencil pattern on top of that using a little bit of Simon Says Stamp foam tape. Now there are some smaller greetings included in the Stained Glass Love stamp set. So I took one of the smaller ones here that says sending you lots of love and I stamped it in some VersaFine black ink. And I stamped it a couple times to make sure I got a really nice crisp impression. But that VersaFine ink stamps in a really crisp black color and looks great against that radiant stencil design. I also embellished the word love a little bit more by adding some glossy accents in the little thicker areas of the greeting and that gives it a little bit more dimension and also adds to that stained glass effect. I also wanted to embellish the pattern a little bit more and like I said I was trying to go with a stained glass effect here because that stencil reminded me so much of stained glass. So I took some of these colorful sequins from Simon Says Stamp and adhered these in different areas along the points of the stencil and created a really beautiful shiny pattern with the sequins and that really embellishes this entire card nicely. I really love how bright and vibrant this card looks and also how it carries such a beautiful stained glass effect with all of these different products from the new Simon Says Stamp Friends release. I hope that it has inspired you to try using some of these products and create a fun card like this on your own. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below or you can head on over to my blog to get more information on this card including still pictures and products used. Thanks so much for watching, I will see you again very soon with another video and until then, have a great day! Bye!